Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Horde Night, day 35. 45 minutes to go in game before the Horde starts. Um, I didn't do anything to my main base, it's still pretty much the same. I've just been doing mostly quests, I'm on tier 4 quests now. Uh, but as you can see, I've updated this base quite a bit. Um, got a steel hatch in here, these are all steel plates, not just painted. All these are steel, now these are still reinforced iron because I can't get anything better than that. But uh, junk turret is still the same. As you can see, I've added a second level of steps on this side with a little bit of a ramp here, or not a ramp, but a corner bit of steps so that makes it easier for them to get up. Same over here, corner bit over there for them to get up. I repaired everything, re put everything to reinforced concrete, uh, including the plates that were under here. Everything is reinforced concrete now. Uh, so we're standing on pretty much a triple wide reinforced concrete block, even though it's only one block there, plus two plates on either side. Um, and I'm interested to see what we can do with the horde. Now they didn't do too much damage to the base last time. They knocked out a few blocks. A couple of them over there. I think one under here. That was about it. I replaced those. Now as you can see I've upgraded a couple of the pillars here. Added some reinforcement to that one just in case for whatever reason they decided to beat on it. Um, it doesn't come down and I can't get back up here. Um, I brought some frames just in case. But as you can see I've kind of re reinforced a few of the pillars in case they decide to go crazy. Now there's the uh, horde number has been upped from 16 to 24. Uh, I just wanted to see how this base will do against 24 at a time. We're still going to try and rock the uh, the melee base on this one. Don't know if we can do it. As you can see we've got the steel club now. I managed to find the schematic for that, uh, the book for that that is, uh, and get that in there. We've still got the same mods on this ergonomic grip which gives us the bonus for uh, um, uh, stamina use and everything. And then we still got our same shotgun, the rad remover. And then I found a level, believe it or not, I found a level AK six, a level six AK today, uh, hitting up the uh, the school that was just down the street in a level four quest that was a clear quest. So I found this today, so I, I threw on the rad remover, muzzle brake, uh, bipod mod, and a magazine extender. Uh, pretty good damage, good magazine size, just in case it gets crazy. And of course we got Molotovs. I left the pipe bombs off because we're not using them. So, Ooh, dogs coming first see how this goes as you can see I don't have any electronics up either I bought myself a ton of uh, um, electronic fences so hopefully I'll get those into play at some point my god you're only gonna win if you hit people come on mama Not shot. So sorry, Mo, but this club is pretty much a one shot for everything that's that's not a uh, a feral. Drink some coffee here. I max my food out too before, so I shouldn't have to eat. Crap, you got a piece of me. I got lots of medical supplies and ammo on me. Got three three stacks of shotgun shells if we need it. This base makes it's like this club makes all the difference for this base. Yeah, as soon as I back up, some of them just seem to turn around. Oh, Mo got a huge piece of me. Okay, I'm gonna check this. Uh... Yeah, they're starting to. Well, it's the sheer number of them too, right? Plus the dogs. Oh, she ran. She's like, nope, nope, don't want any part of that. If I could rank up my uh, intellect enough and get to like the level 10 so I can uh, get two turrets going at once, I'll use two of the uh, 
robotic sledges for sure. Put them side by side. Yeah, see, they can still get a piece of me in here. Yeah, definitely the Steel Club makes a huge difference. Get off of there. guy is growing right in my face dogs are hard to connect on oh guys coming in backwards all right let's check how we're doing here Had to do that, did you? Let's go ahead and use one of these guys. Junk turret does a really great job of, or the junk uh, sled, of keeping this nice and clear. I mean, when they pile up, there's not much I can do, but like, you know, when they're all down there, I just gotta focus on the guys coming straight ahead. The turret clears the rest of them out for me. Yeah, even with 24, it's not that bad. I'm glad I put this vault uh, hatch in behind here, though. So if I'm not careful, they're gonna break through. Um. You know what I didn't do? I should be doing use one of these guys. Just to keep us from getting infected. Oh. Wow, they're really doing a number down there. Well the good thing about oh Lost my stamina or something there. Good thing about that though, that build up is that at least they're not right here. Well, they've knocked some fair number of blocks out over there. I was hoping I would see some radiators tonight, but it's not happening. Come on, lady. Ooh, military guy. Don't be so eager to die. I'm expecting to break something tonight. Yeah. I was hoping that that double ramp would really help out, but I think it's the, uh, not them not seeing a way to get to me. I don't know how to improve that. Not shot. Get off of my building. Yeah, I think with a second junk turret, 
could probably hang up, hold off like up to 32 maybe, maybe 64. Let it thin out a little bit here and I want to check those bars. Oh, they're almost done. I almost forgot my forged iron tonight too. Oh, he pop tarted and it was just like his buddy got it instead of him. Come on, Mo. Bring it in here for a hug. Ah, yep. Yeah. Buddy ruined it for you. I was doing some kind of dance there. There you go. Everybody comes to get. I haven't even needed the guns yet. No cops, though. I should have checked my game stage before this, though. One thing I forgot to do. And the number of zombies I had to kill. Yeah, see, I can't. I gotta, like, make sure I back up or they're gonna hit me for sure. over halfway through the night. This is going to be going all night, I think. I don't think we're going to get a reprise here. Our stamina is still way up. So I got uh, sex, sex Rex maxed out. Oh, we got a cop or something now. Could be a bird, I don't know. But I don't hear the cries or the... Uh, I think it's a bird. Alright, let's clear this out. Yeah, it's a bird. Where are you? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use one of these guys. And let's get some fire on these guys down here. Mind you guys, I'm back up here. Yeah, if I had some grenades, I think those would be better than pipe bombs. I gotta be right against the bars for them to register that they can get to me. The rate of attack on this is like slower than the baseball bat. I gotta be careful when I jump forward that I can actually attack. It's been a few times I move forward to click and, it, and nothing has happened. That was a twofer, man. Oh, Mo didn't die, though. That time he did. <laughs> oh. That was the sound of his head banging off the bars. They pushed him right into the bars. Oh, I thought he was going to get a piece of me there for a second. This junk turret's actually killing some guys too, I think. Like the ones that get wounded. The junk turret just just enough to finish them off. It's only like... Ooh, I'm out of stamina. It's like 17, I think, damage. Yeah, see there? I couldn't attack. <laughs> come on you guys I got love for some everybody that wants to come forward here happy Halloween trick or treat motherfuckers these guys want candy and all I got for them is a candy coated bat oh there's our first radiated and it has to be a freaking spider monkey 
Die, you fucker. Ow. We got another one? Might as well empty the clip. There's another radiated, of course, the spider monkey. I think we got him. There's another one. What is it the game is liking about these radiated spiders? I gotta get a uh, tube extender mod for this thing. Oh man, the shotgun shreds. I've got an auto shotgun, but it's only level one, and it won't, doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as this one does, so... Alright, back at it. Get to work here. Still got an hour to go. Oh, we haven't lost the bars yet. I thought they are for a second. Oh, they're at, what, 700? Ah ha ha. Didn't make it through. Come on, guys, I'm right here. Oh, she got a piece of me, too. Solid strike. Man, this friggin' club. Oh, you got in there somehow. Oops. That's those guys? Okay. They're breaking a bunch of shit down there, man. I'm going low on the mollies because I still haven't found the desert, so I haven't been able to get any oil shale. So I've been relying on gas that I get from cars. And I don't have a whole lot. My motorbike is like half empty. And I got a bit at home that I've been saving just in case, but... I'm gonna have to find the desert between now and the next horde. Ow. Burn, you bastards. I said no traveling salesman. I love these bases when you don't have to ex actually expend that, that much ammo. I mean, I got a crap ton of it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm not worried about that. Like, I got stacks and stacks of ammo at home. I wonder if I can lob a... Uh... Nope. We needed one of these anyway. No cops tonight, I'm kind of shocked. I know I shouldn't jinx it, but... I found a level 6 junk turret. But it's not as good as this level 5. God, just when you think the spiders are gone, there, another one shows up. And there's the morning. Alright, spider zombies are gone, and this guy, bird, got right in here. They're still coming. Mind you guys, this walker's like slowing them all down. Mind you guys, let's finish this up. Oh, I got an abrasion on my knee. I bet you it was a spider monkey. Ooh, three levels tonight. It's not bad at all.
you can see what I mean. Like, I'm still on warrior difficulty. The one-shot capability of this bat. With the exception of, like, Mo, Big Mama, and the Hawaiian guy. And runners, of course. This thing just rips through them. Even guys like the uh, construction worker, you can almost always lay out in one shot. Crap. I knew I should have backed up. Alright, looks like we're going down. Let's fight him on foot. How many runners we got? We got Mo. You're not a runner. Oh, they didn't do that bad. And that's it. Alright, let's create a storage chest because I got a feeling we're not going to be able to fit everything in here. I should make one for upstairs. I wish you could make like heavy iron chests. Now I was finally able to buy a crucible too, which makes a huge difference. I might as well just drop all this in here. Just for now. Okay, level four ratchet. I think we've got a five. And what's over here? Okay, do we have anybody up here? I don't think so. There's one hiding. Oh yeah, there's one hiding here last time. There's two here this time. Ooh, got some steel. Alright, nice. Can we f got enough steel to fix this? I think so. See, once again, like almost no damage. A little bit to the bottom plate, a little bit down there. This one's almost gone, but still, that's the steel. A little bit on the inside. I think that was for me swinging. Same as that one. Yeah, so almost like no damage. I mean, with the exception of concrete, but now at this point in the game, it's so cheap to make this stuff that it's it's like this is like no damage to me. Like early in the game, if this was my base early in the game, this would be significant. The cost would be a lot and time and stuff, but now it's like I just make so much concrete. I spend a day mining stone and then just make a crap ton of concrete and it's, you know, we're good to go. So yeah, overall the base held up really well. Um, they had no hopes really of bringing this down. I mean, they didn't take any plates off of this. I wonder if they see the plates differently than a full block, which is why they're not hitting here anymore. Because in the earlier hordes, they had punched a hole through here. But then when I put these plates on, they stopped really banging on that, and they started banging more on the stairs. Which is why I added some width here. So this is like two blocks wide. And then the stairs. So even if they broke this out, I mean, this isn't going to collapse in any way. And then... You know what I mean? This is not if they broke through here, this wouldn't collapse. They'd just go through to the other side. Like which would be like right here. And there's plates and stuff, or they may break through here, but these stairs aren't coming down. You know? So we'll see what it goes like the next horde. I'm gonna put make more of this steel. And I'll probably put make all of these steel in here just to see what happens. Just to see if they can't get through them. Because it'd be nice if they couldn't get through them at all. My big fear is demos, so we're going to have to, like, do something with the ground here, because if they blow up down here, that's a huge problem, because there's no blocks under here. 
So I'm going to have to slowly dig these out one at a time and replace all the blocks under here with uh, steel. And then uh, make a steel floor across here and then maybe put plates down too. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I don't plan on building a horde base anywhere else. I think this is fine. All right. Stuff that we can share. Let's bring these in. We'll come back and get the rest. All right. So I'm in this here. I hope you enjoyed it. And then I'll see you next horde night.